uh, make sure that you uh, check the template large object inches or small object inches so you know what kind of space you are working on Okay, here uh, Rhino has very uh, magical function called picture frame <coughs> if I click it I can select on image so here I'm going to use sketch elevation I just made now this one has a little bit problem I will save it I will resave it save as okay make sure that JPEG this one I just called it simply elev elev I reopen it file uh, I retype it picture frame if you have the same problem save your file in JPEG again in the Photoshop this one is elevation so I will place elevation from 0, 0, 0 here so I type 0, comment, 0, comment, 0, 0, 0, 0 which is the origin point and then I'm using this one is kind of rotating any angle so I press shift to align with this one on X axis and then I kind of place it like this and then you see your sketches in space and the problem is we don't know the size of this sketch yet so I'm going to use dimension linear dimension uh, using object snap which is click here lower bottom menus and actually you can select object snaps this is the same thing with AutoCAD so probably you have no problem yes what was the image again? a picture frame, picture frame. Right. and then I just select one corner and the other corner and then realize that this one is 19 and somewhere half inches but what should be the size but this one probably 954 inch will be too large so I'll set as instead of using this number I set 9.54 and 17 and 16 inches <coughs> okay so I simply draw a line from another left corner how to draw a line I click this one this one is polyline command I clicked it and then I clicked one corner and then I type 9.54 9.54 and enter by doing that you can draw that length of line actually which one is actually here you see this point this one is 9.54 length so I just simply click there then actually there's a line you can select the curve is here so this is our reference line to measure the size so I'm going to use scale function scale okay I first type scale and it will ask you select object to scale so I select the image and then it asks you select okay and then enter and then it asks where is the origin point I select the left lower corner and scale factor or first reference point which I click the right end and then I shrink it to where the end of my reference line so now this size is actually exactly 9.54 which is in 9 inch and 3 and a 3 uh, quarter 